a way to change it back into Buku. If only I could think of it. Perchance, speak to me again, dear friend. Let me hear you say it. I demand a recount. Ah, uh, good morrow, fair lady. I was just trying to get my dog to speak. He can speak perfect English, you know. <laughs> Isn't that something? <laughs> Maybe I've been working too hard lately. I think I'll take a couple of weeks off. Beautiful. Oh, simply beautiful. Such clear tones. Such vibrato. Doesn't Jezebel sing beautifully? Listen to the bell-like quality of her gentle trilling. <laughs> Hussy, scaring a poor little bird like that. I think I'd better come up with something fast. There he is. Uh-oh. I'd better hide fast. <laughs> Marlon, you come back here. I can't believe he's just running away. I have the feeling that we'll be hearing from him again. Too soon, maybe. What do we do now? We'll have to get Mop Top and the pandas ready. And we'll take the lady with us, just in case. chances. Maybe not. Not bad. But when they see Swifty in action, it's all over. I just wish I could find Buku. <laughs> and I just wish we could find Marlon. I don't want them to see me until I can remember how to reverse my magic. Hey, man! Miss Frogel's on with her parakeet. I'm sorry to announce that my poor Jezebel has met with a most unfortunate accident. But I will attempt to get her to sing. Sing, dear. Sing. Uh, I guess it's my fault that Jezebel lost her voice. I use some ventriloquism to help her out. Please sing, dear. Please. Oh, <laughs> Wrong voice. Well, we know one thing for sure. Marlon's around here someplace. But where? Next contestant, please. Hey, that's us. Now we'll show them some real courage and spirit. <laughs> Friendly dog named Boo. 